What's going on guys? Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. This is tips, tricks, and cool features for the Umidigi A11. In this video, I'm going to be going over some different tips and tricks for this phone that you might not know about. Now before we go any further, I do want to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. That being said, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is what's called the three finger screenshot. Now this is basically another way to take a screenshot. The normal way of course is pressing and holding the power key and the volume down key at the same time like this, which is easy enough, but this way is actually a lot more convenient. So what you're going to want to do to activate this feature is go to your settings. Smart assistant right here gesture control and three finger screenshot is right here you're going to want to toggle this on and now instead of pressing the buttons all you need to do to take a screenshot is go like this it's a little bit more of a delayed reaction than this feature is on some other phones but it still does work really well the next thing i'm going to show you is a quick way to open your camera this is really easy. All you need to do is double tap the power key like this and it's going to open up. It's going to ask you how you want to open the camera. If you have multiple apps like Snapchat or maybe an alternate camera app that use the camera primarily. And if you want it to only open the regular camera every time you do this, you can hit, you can select the camera app and hit always. Now there's a second quick way to open the camera that may or may not be the best thing to have activated along with the three finger screenshot because it can get a little confusing, but I'm gonna show you anyway. All you need to do is have three fingers once again, and instead of swiping like this, you go like this, and this is gonna open the camera as well. But again, it's a little bit confusing if you have both the features activated at the same time, because then if you swipe down like that, then it's gonna take a screenshot, and you might forget which one does what. So definitely play around with it and see if it works for you. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a quick way to adjust the volume. So all you need to do is take two fingers and go like this. As you can see here, the volume is being adjusted. Now this feature isn't activated by default, so let me show you how it works. You're gonna to go to settings, back to smart assistant, gesture control and make sure two fingers to adjust the volume is turned on once it's turned on that's really all you need to do to change the volume you don't need to use the button anymore the next thing i'm going to show you is a quick way to lock your screen now this isn't really that useful in my opinion because it's basically the exact same amount of effort as it takes to press the power key but the alternate way of locking the screen is just double tapping the home button and it's going to lock you're going to want to make sure that this feature is actually activated. So to do that, you're going to go to your settings. Smart assistant once again. Gesture control. And make sure double click the lock screen is on. One thing to keep in mind is that this is only usable when you have the button navigation. For obvious reasons, it's not going to work with gesture navigation. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to use the smart key. The smart key is really cool and you can use it for lots of different shortcuts. So what we're going to do to get to this menu is go to settings and smart key right here. So this menu is going to show you what actions are performed based on what you do. So for example, single click is going to open Instagram right now. Double click is going to open Zello. I honestly don't even know what this app does, but interesting. And then the long press is going to open the flashlight. So you can change these, of course, to whatever you want just by selecting this and you'll be able to perform different actions or open an app. So if you have certain things you're constantly doing on your phone and want a fast way to access them, this is pretty much the perfect solution. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to control the battery percentage in your status bar. 
Right now, you can see the battery percentage is up there, and some people really like that, but you might think it looks a little messy, because after all, it's not really that necessary to see the exact percent your battery is at anyway, so I'm going to show you how to toggle it on and off. So we're going to go to our settings, and battery, and now all you need to do is toggle off battery percentage to get rid of it. Now it's gone, and then if you want it back, turn it back on, and it's going to be there. The next thing I'm going to show you is what's called dark theme. Dark theme is really popular whether you're using it for aesthetics or functionality. So what you're going to want to do is go to settings, go to display, and toggle on dark theme. And once you have it on, you can actually schedule it by hitting this one more time. It's going to take you to this menu. You're going to be able to schedule it to either on and off at sunset to sunrise, or you can set up a custom time if you want to. The next thing I'm going to show you that's also in the display section is similar to dark theme in a way. This is called nightlight. What nightlight does is basically tints your screen with an amber color to filter out blue light and make it a little easier on your eyes. So all you need to do is go to nightlight and turn it on and you can control the intensity. You can make it a lot lighter or a lot stronger. Just like dark theme, you can also schedule this from sunset to sunrise or you can make a custom time if you want. The last thing I'm going to show you is a fast way to turn on vibrate mode. This can be really useful if you typically have a ringtone on, but just want to silence your phone for something specific, like a meeting or a movie or something like that, where you really can't have your phone making noise. All you need to do is press the power key and the volume up key at the same time, and it's going to turn it on. It's super easy and a lot faster than doing it through your settings menu. But just be careful not to accidentally take a screenshot instead because I can definitely see that happening. But these were some tips, tricks, and cool features for the Humidity A11. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you found this information useful as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about this phone itself, be sure to watch my full review of the phone also on the channel. But that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.